Let's go ahead and test the pH of each of these drinks. Now, the pH is done where we use actually pH test drops. And these test drops are actually the same drops that you would use to test the pH in a pool. And we're just going to put four drops into each of these glasses. Now, the pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. And what you want is you want to be on the high side. You want to be as high as you can get. You don't want to be on the low side. So we're going to go ahead here. We're going to stir these up. And we're going to stir up this first one here, the Sprite. And you can see on the, basically on the low side of the pH scale, you've got very, very, you know, an orangish color, which is what you don't want. You get into here to the vitamin water. I thought vitamin water was supposed to be good for you. Well, it's got a very uh, low pH to it. We get in here to the reverse osmosis waters. This surprises a lot of people. When they actually see this reverse osmosis water, you, know, you go to the store and you buy these bottles and you think that it's really good for you, but yet you can see it just doesn't have that much of a pH value. Now, this last glass, this is the tap water. Now, this tap water here is uh, it's blue. And some people get excited about that because actually the pH value of this compared to all these other drinks is much better, uh, much better. But what they don't tell you is that the federal government mandates um, that tap water be at least 7.0 in pH. And so because of that, uh, they use various chemicals, lyes, and anything they have to to put into that water to get it to go to here. In fact, a lot of times when you filter this water, you will actually see that the pH values come back to this range once some of those chemicals are filtered out. Um, so let's see what happens when we actually take some of our 9.5 water here and we just mix a little bit of it right in. Look what we just did to that tap water. We changed that tap water and we took it from a, an acidic, or actually it was a somewhat neutral state, uh, to a very uh, alkaline state. We're going to do the same thing over here to the Aquafina, and it very quickly turns purple. You can see that. Here we go again. We're going to get it to go purple just by mixing in some of our water. Now, these other three over here, I actually want to, uh, I want to go ahead and use our water, our 9.5 water, and I'm going to pour it directly in. Now, watch what happens when we do this. Isn't that amazing? We're not getting any color change at all. In fact, if I go over here, we're not going to get any color change in either of these drinks. They are so acidic that it's actually going to take anywhere from 25, 30 cups of our water, of 9.5 pH water, when we mix it into these other waters to, or these other drinks to actually get it uh, to go neutral. In fact, I'm going to show you that because this is so potent. I mean, look at this soda here. This soda is so potent that if we just take a tiny bit and put it right into one of these cups, it immediately takes away the alkalinity of these. I mean, take a look at that. It is just, it's absolutely gone. And so very, very quickly, you can take uh, an alkaline uh, substance and turn it into a very acidic substance. I want to clear these.